also watch game shows quite a bit. I enjoy game shows. Um, I love I love watching people win. It makes me very excited. But I hate it when they have to win, like uh, when you win a ski trip. I don't want to win a ski trip. Are you kidding? That's like winning cold exercise. What the f is that about? <laughs> Seriously? Or you could do like push-ups in the freezer. What the f I don't want to win that. No good, all right? But I do, I also watch um, a lot of shows about ghosts. Do you ever watch any of those shows? It's so stupid. They don't prove anything on those shows, right? They're like, oh, there's a ghost in the house. But all they do is wear those night vision goggles, right? So everything's green, that's it. And then like one of the guys goes, I'm cold. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. <laughs> that proves there's a ghost? I need more proof than that. Are you kidding? That's like when a cop walks in and says, I smell pot. Prove it in court. <laughs> prove it in court. You can't prove a smell. <laughs> right? You can't prove a smell, right, guys? <laughs> Just checking, just checking, whatever. I do, sometimes I watch educational things, not much, but sometimes I do. All right, and I watch this, you know, again, one of these shows about ghosts, and I saw this, uh, this one woman was being interviewed by these ghost people, and she was saying that she claimed very seriously that one night she was alone in her house, trying to go to bed, and then a ghost came to her in her sleep, and she said that they had sexual relations, this woman said this. She said, yeah, she said she had sex with a ghost. She said it wasn't upsetting, she said it was quite nice. And I was watching this, thinking to myself, if that is true, <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed earlier. Are you kidding me? I am. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna shave my legs, take out the mouth guard. Let's do this, Casper. Time to get friendly. Are you kidding? Please. Very busy, very busy. And then I watched this, um, I watched this uh, public service announcement the other day with that little Jonas brother, that little Nick Jonas. Oh, he's totally adorable. And I was watching, he has diabetes. I don't know if you know this. He has, I know, he's such a survivor. He's so strong, that one. Oh, God. So I'm watching, I'm watching this little public service and you know, Nick Jonas is all like, hey, I'm, I'm totally cute, don't get diabetes. And that's the whole thing, right? <laughs> I was watching that home going, oh my God, he is cute. He was so cute that I had a moment where I was like, I wish I had diabetes. <laughs> and then I thought about it, I probably do have diabetes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't feel my left foot, I can't feel it. Are you... That can't be right. But anyway, now, now this is usually at the point of the show where you all start looking at me thinking, this woman has a cat, this woman has a cat. And you'd be right, I do have a cat. I don't wanna, I don't wanna start anything, but my cat's better than your cat. I don't wanna start a fight. I don't wanna start a fight, but it's true. And I, you know, my cat, we've been together for 16 years. Shut up, best relationship I've ever had, are you kidding? <laughs> the romance is still very strong, shut up. But here's the thing, here's the thing about my cat. You know, this, this happens every once in a while. He loves me so much that he, sometimes he stares at me with that look of love that's like almost creepy. Do you ever, have, like if he was a man, I would be terrified of him. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like seriously, you know, you remember the guy that's like, I love you so much. <laughs> on a date with a guy and he likes you too much, so you get your phone out and you just hit 9-1 and then just leave it. <laughs> Give it a you gotta be ready, you gotta be ready at all times, guys. 